Hi everyone, this is our second video using the Raspberry Pi with the Berry Clip add-on and Scratch GPIO. In this video what we're going to do is we're going to create a little Morse code generator. So the board is going to um, respond to a key press and it's going to give us the Morse code for that key. Okay, so if I take you across to my script. Okay. So here I've got my set add-on to Berry Clip, as you would do for anything using Scratch GPIO where you're using the Berry Clip. And then I've got forever, if the A key is pressed, we're going to broadcast the buzzer on. We're going to wait 0.1 second, then we're going to turn it off. We're going to wait a second, then we're going to broadcast the buzzer on for 0.3 seconds, and then turn it off. Okay, for Morse code, uh, it's made up of dots and dashes. One dash is the equivalent to three dots. So basically a dash has to last three times as long as a dot. The Morse code for A is a dot followed by a dash. So we've got it broadcasting the buzzer for 0 0.1 second. Then we've got a wait for one second to distinguish between the characters. And then we've got a wait of 0 0.3 seconds while the buzzer's on doing the dash. Now Morse code states that weights in between characters should be the length of one dot. However, I've kept this as a at a second, just so that there's a clear uh, a clear separation between the um, dots and dashes or the characters. Okay, so my script is currently running. So if I take you across to the Raspberry Pi, hopefully when I press A, okay, I've also done the script for B as well which is slightly more lengthy because a B is a dash followed three by three dots and again I've kept the weight in between to a second okay so there's a, a clear um, gap between each character so we'll try that with the B okay so there's a clear gap in between each of the sounds now the script for this is available in the link in the description. Um, you can then add to this, you can do all the letters of the alphabet if you want. There's also Morse code for numbers. Um, basically just duplicate the bits that you need and then as long as you've got that set add-on at the top you should be fine. 